Okay, we want to figure out how many lemons we need to make these four pies. By the way, this nine doesn't have anything to do with the problem other than to give you the, the size of the lemon pies. Um, you're asked to find a unit converter online to find out how many cups there are in one, uh, how many uh, tablespoons there are in one cup. I'll post a link to this unit converter in the answer. Uh, this was a volume conversion, so we're converting. We find out that one cup is equivalent to 16 tablespoons. So here's how you can think it through using a little diagram. You've got these four pies, and each pie produces half a cup of lemon juice. So there is the lemon juice required. Well, that's two cups. One, four times one half, that's what you need. Two cups of lemon juice. But how many tablespoons are there in two cups? Well, one cup is 16, so two cups is 32. So we need 32 tablespoons of lemon juice. Each lemon produces two tablespoons. So if we divide 32 by 2, we find out that we need 16 lemons to produce enough lemon juice. And if we multiply 16 by 65 cents, we'll have the amount of money that's required. So that's how to do it thick and through with a diagram. If uh, you get good at this, you can also do something called unit conversion using dimensional analysis. What you want to do is label the quantities with the appropriate uni units. And the idea here is to end up with uh, cents. Let's see what happens. So if I say one lemon produces two tablespoons, I want to put a ratio here that allows these tablespoons to cancel out. That's why I put tablespoons in the numerator. So two tablespoons is one cup. And now I'd like the cups to cancel out. So I put one half cup in the numerator of this next conversion fraction. So the cups cancel out. And it's a half a cup of lemon juice per pie. How many pies do I have? I have four pies. So I put four pies in the numerator. And finally, 65 cents per lemon. These lemons cancel out. And the only unit that remains is this 65 cents. So let's multiply the numbers. In the numerator, we have 1 times 16 times a half times 4. And in the denominator, we just have a 2. And this is cents. Oh, I, I forgot the 65. So this is cents here. So this is half of 16 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. But 2 into 32 is 16. 16 times 65 cents. I'll let you do that multiplication. And we'll get some number of dollars and cents. Okay, there you go. Hope that gave you some idea how to do this. If you have any questions, post a comment.